Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I did a halo pinup style on my natural hair without having locks. I am starting off on blowing out hair because I felt that it would be easier to braid the front. So of course I am going to section off those two sections in the front like I always like to do. And I will be using my butterfly clips of course. I'm going to secure the back in a ponytail for later. So starting off, I am going to be using a little bit of jam. This is just to help me get my part straight and to make sure that I am getting the braid as clean as possible. So I will put that down around the part area and then go back with my rat tail cone to make sure that it is clean and crisp as possible. And once I have that middle part straight, I will clip the other side up and I will begin braiding on one side of my head first. So of course you're going to want to part medium sized sections. You can do these braids however small or large that you want. I kind of went for medium because I was doing this hairstyle kind of late at night and that was like the energy that I had in me. So I decided to go for medium braids. So of course just cleaning those parts up using the jam. Because the jam is on the thicker side you're going to want to use your comb to make sure that it is smooth throughout the roots and of course the edges in the front and then you will begin braiding my tip for doing your braids is to make sure that when you're starting off the braid that you are grabbing very very small pieces this just makes the braid look more precise and it will also elongate the braid so if you were picking up a lot of hair, it would look kind of very, very loose and you really want this to look pretty tight. So just make sure that you are picking up small pieces. In order to create the halo in the back so that it is uniform, for these braids, I will be finishing off with a twist. And this is for the braids in the front except for the two that will be on the sides that are holding the beads. So you braid the braid to the scalp and then twist down the ends and make sure you give it a cool. And you are going to want to do this process for the rest of the sections that are in the front. Um, I do want you all to be mindful that your twists are going to look loose at the ends because we are starting off with blown out hair. So if you would prefer for your twists at the ends to look a little bit tighter, it might be beneficial for you to do this process on wet hair or damp hair or just add some water to the ends of the twist with your spray bottle so that they can shrink and get tight together. But for me, my twists are not going to look like they would if I was doing a mini twist hairstyle because I am starting off on blown out hair. And for this braid on the end, we are going to braid our hair all the way down to the end. So you're not going to do a twist for this braid. You are corn rolling and then plaiting the hair all the way to the ends. And that is because we will be adding a bead onto this braid. So you want to make sure that the braid is more secure and braids makes the hair more secure for the bead. And once all of your cornrows are complete in the front, of course the two on the sides are cornrowed and plaited all the way down to the ends, whereas the ones in the middle have twists, you're going to want to secure in a little bun or you can clip it away because now it is time for us to tackle the back. 
I am now going to add water to my hair because I want some of my natural curl pattern to kind of come back and revert a little bit because this is what is going to hold the twist in place without me having to secure at the ends. So of course you all know that my hair is blown out which means that I don't have a lot of kinks in my hair to actually keep the twist nice and tight. So I am going to go row by row for these twists. You all have seen me do many twists time and time before. Um, I will link some of those videos for you all but typically with this hairstyle the twists do not have to be completely perfect okay I am using the cream by the dew for these twists in the back it's a really really good thick cream and a good moisturizer for the hair that will make sure that my hair stays moisturized all week or for a week or two because I actually kept this style for about two weeks with these twists, the reason that they don't have to be so uniform is because they're not going to be hanging down. However, if you would like to wear this style with the twist hanging in the back, I do advise you to make sure that they are as uniform as possible. And when I say uniform, that is making sure that the size of your parts, the tightness of the twists are the same or very, very similar, okay? Because perfection doesn't exist, but you want to make sure that they are very, very similar. So I am just making sure that I moisturize the length of the hair as I am doing these twists. For some of the twists, I did add a little bit of jam to the roots. However, that step was absolutely unnecessary. Adding jam to my roots did not do anything different to if I would have not added any jam in the first place. But make sure you take off that SS Prado as you twist in the hair so that you can cut off some of that drying time. And this is what half of that back section looks like. And guess what? We are almost there. Here is what the hairstyle looks like when all of the twists have been placed in the back and the front has been complete. Now we are going to remove our little cute little bun. I was actually kind of feeling that bun, y'all. So we're just going to remove that bun. And then we're going to add some of the Dew Mousse, one of my favorite foam lotions at this time. We're going to use this mousse to set the hair. So you're going to want to make sure that you rub it in. And also put some on the twist in the back so that they can get a nice set and hold to them. And then what I will do is I will use some of that mousse to go ahead and lay down my edges. When I do this process when I am styling my hair, it just helps so that I don't have to add a whole bunch of edge control in the week. So I'm tying my hair down with a scarf and then I am going to sit up under the dryer for at least 30 minutes. And now that I am up from under the dryer, you can see that the mousse has set into my hair, my edges are laid down, and my hair has a lot of shine to it. And this is my hair having shine without me adding any shine spray. That is what we are looking for when we talk about hydration. To attach the bead, slide your hair through the bobby pin, and then push the bobby pin through the inside of the bead, which will pull your hair through. Voila, no beater but a bobby pin, okay? Fold your hair up and then secure it with a rubber band. If you would like, you can soak the rubber band in some oil and this will help to prevent any snags. But slide it through the bead and then fold the hair up and then you can secure it with the rubber band. I chose to secure it three times, but later on throughout the week, I did have to go in and attach the rubber band for more than three times just to make sure that it was fully secure. Now for the halo, you are going to want to start in the middle of the braids and roll the hair. You are rolling the hair with the twist in the back, but you are going to leave that braid with the bead out, okay? So you're going to want to make sure that as you roll, you pick up a little bit of hair at a time. So that may be one to two twists, and you want to continue rolling, and you want to ensure that it is tight, okay? So you roll, make sure it's secure grab a little bit more hair, roll, make sure it's secure, and continue this process until you get to the top.
now that you made it to the top, you do want to go ahead and have some hairpins by your side because we need to begin securing it. When I secure bobby pins or hair pins, I do my best to attach the hair to my hair so that I don't have any bobby pins irritating my scalp. This is something that I learned in the past year because I am prone to like having annoyance with bobby pins, okay? So I am making sure that the little bit of hairs that I need to tuck, that I am doing that on the inside of the halo because I can hide it up under it because you want it to look as neat as possible and that little bead y'all see on the side on the left I'm gonna fix that after I get this halo together adding just a little bit of mousse to my braids on the side being that I had to manipulate them a little bit just to get the beads up there and voila that's what the back is looking like okay but I am going to tie my hair down overnight and here's what my hair looks like the very next morning and it was my birthday week this week so shout out to all of the Pisces babies that are out there and I really really love this hairstyle I got a lot of compliments on it and it did give me the ability to hold off on locking my hair just a little bit because it reminds me of lot hairstyles as always i hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and i can't wait to see you in the next one see ya